Good day everyone, I'm going to discuss machine safety training. By the way, I'm Lawrence Andre G. Dorola. And this is the designs, shop equipment, and this is the terms and definition. Pinch, point, pinch points occur between rotating and fixed parts which can create a shearing, crushing, or breathing action. Reciprocating motion that will make me main proper worker between moving stationary object during the up and down, back and forth motion. Next is transverse motion creates a hazard when the worker is pulled into the pitch point or shear point or is dragged by the moving parts into other moving parts. Next is cutting action. Danger exists at the point of operation where finger, head, and arm injuries occur and where flying chips or scrap material can strike eyes or face. Next is punching action. Results when power is applied to slide for the purpose of blanking, drawing, or stamping metal or other materials. Danger of this type of action occurs at the point of operation where the stock is inserted, held, or withdrawn. Next is shearing action. Applying power to a slide or knife in order to trim or shear metal or other materials. Hazards occur at the point of operation where the stock is inserted, held, or withdrawn. Bending action. Applying power to a slide in order to draw up or form metal or other materials. Hazards occur at the point of operation where stock is inserted, held, or withdrawn. Next is guards. Physical bar that prevent access to danger areas must prevent non arms or any part of the body. Should prevent contact, be secure and well contracted. Should protect from falling objects and contain the hazard. Types of guards. Fixed guards are permanent part of the machine. Interlock guards when open or remove the tripping mechanism and or power to make it automatically shut off or disengage. The machine can, cannot cycle until replaced. Adjustable guards allow flexibility in accommodating various sizes of stock. Protection from point of operation hazards. Next is self adjusting barriers. As the operator moves stock into the danger area, the guard is pushed away, providing an opening, opening that is only large enough to admit the stock being used. Next is photo, photoelectric optical presence sensing device. This is a system of light sources and control which can interrupt the machine's operating cycle. If the light, if the light fit is broken, the machine stops and it will not cycle. Present sensing devices either stops the machine or will not start if a hand or any body part is inadvertently placed in the danger area. Devices create a sensing field that detects the presence of an object larger than an outcome size. Next is radio frequency capacitance present sending device. This is a radio beam that is part of the machine circuit contract. When the capacitance when the capacitance field is broken, the machine will stop or not activate. This device can only be used on machines which can be stopped before the worker reaches the danger zone. Next is electromechanical sensing sensing device. As a probe or a contact bar, which is the sensor present predetermined distance when the operator initiates the machine cycles. Next is pullback device, which is a series of cables attached to the operator hands, wrists, or arms. Use primarily machines with stroking action. Next is safety trip controls, a pressure sensitive bar when the press will deactivate the machine. If the operator or anyone slips, trips, loses balance, or or is thrown toward the machine. Applying pressure to the bar will stop operation of machine. Types of PPE, eye face prote protection, diversion ensures each affected employee uses appreciate eye or face protection. Respiratory protection, uh, respiratory shall be provided to each employee when such equipment is necessary to protect the, the health of such employee. Head protection, the employer should ensure that, that each affected employee wears protective helmet hard hat. When they're working in areas where there is potential to injury to the head from falling objects. Foot protection, the employer should ensure, ensure that each affected employee used to protect footwear when working in areas where the 
there is a danger of foot injuries due to falling rolling objects. Hand protection employees should say they can require employees to choose appreciate hand protection when employees hand exposed to us such as those from the skin absorption of harmful substances, severe cuts or laceration, severe abrasion, fractures, chemical waste, etc. Abrasive wheel machinery. An abrasive wheel is a grinding tool consisting of bonded and grinding grains. Grinding wheels are made in natural synthetic abrasive materials bonded together in a map matrix to form a wheel. Hazards can be created by external factors, destruction by someone or something else, horse play in around a wreck area, conversion with someone while operating machinery, reaching across working areas, wearing jewelry, long hair, use fitting clothing, hot sparks, gloves, mechanical power presses. Mechanical power, press, mechanical power presses are machines that transmit force to cut, form, or assemble metal or other materials through tools or dies attached to or operated. By slides, three types of mechanical power press, mechanical hydraulic pneumatic. Major components of mechanical press are the frame, motor, flywheel, crankshaft, clutch, brake. Main hazards, application, placing to bone operation, ungraded or inequally guarded pierces, deactivating or overriding safeguards. Paper most commonly used barriers, guards, presence sensing device, radio frequency sensors, light curtains, pullback devices, and pick cards. Robotics, robots are machines that load and unload stuff, assemble parts, transfer objects, or perform other tasks. They can be used to replace humans who were performing unsafe or hazardous, highly repetitive, and unpleasant tasks. Robots are used to accomplish accomplish many different types of application functions such as material holding assembly or well or welding, instance welding, machine to load load functions, painting, spraying, and other functions. The steel robots are programmable multi functional mechanical devices designed to move materials, part parts tools or special device through variable program motion to perform tasks safely. That's all. Thank you, Bob.